I'm gonna be building the cheapest setup using only things that I found from Walmart. Of course, the most important thing is what actually is gonna be like powering the entire setup and there's no other better thing you can get than an Xbox Series S in terms of its price to performance. And this one over here is actually the brand new black version of the Xbox Series S. I think they call it carbon black. I'm actually going to be giving away this entire Xbox later in this video. I'll explain how you can actually win it. So I'm just trying to like not to damage any of the packaging. Of course, the controller is also completely black as you guys can see over here. It also comes with batteries in there. And then the last thing in here is of course just the HDMI cable and the power cable. And of course, with an Xbox Series S, it can get 120 FPS. So I was looking looking for a like cheap budget monitor that Walmart had, but they like literally did not have any in store online. You can actually find them, I think for a pretty good price, but in the actual store, there was just nothing else that was like a cheap price, but this one's 75 Hertz. So it's a little bit better than 60, but it's still nothing that good. All right. So in the box, there's the power cord, the monitor stand, and then the monitor. Okay. And then here is the actual monitor itself. And it's also 24 inches and 1080p. So basically like a basic monitor. Okay let's just unbox this real quick and see how the actual monitor looks okay so it really really feels super light it kind of feels like a budget monitor but the bezels aren't like awfully thick on it at all and it does come with like a little bit of like a basic monitor stand all right and then you literally just click that right there and that's literally it yeah it does have like the little adjusting thing where you can just adjust it up and down yeah it doesn't have the thing where you can go like side to side and of course you get your power cord and hdmi cord i just had my very first stream in four months and I quickly ran into an issue. Whenever I would try and change scenes on stream, I would have to tab out of my game and then change it and tab back in, which just created a huge mess. However, Loop Deck just sent out one of their products and it completely solved my issue. It's basically a macro pod, but on steroids. It has 15 different touchscreen buttons, which you can easily bind to like whatever you want, such as a starting and main scene. Not only that, but you can add a start stream slash record button, mute your mic, adjust your audio, and much more. All of the buttons and knobs on it can be used to streamline video editing, content creation, or streaming. The reason I love it so much is because it allows me to multitask really easily, and I can also mainly just save time, most importantly. The Loop Deck is compatible with a ton of different software, such as Streamlabs, Twitch, Final Cut Pro, and Photoshop. It also is more affordable than some of its competition, and it also has a bunch of different versions for whatever you need. So make sure to check out Loop Deck with the first link in the description or pinned comment. And again, thank you so much to Loop Deck for sponsoring this video. All right, now for the actual microphone and the webcam, I'm pretty sure I bought these like a really long time ago, like five months ago or something. But I remember that these were about $30 each. And this microphone was just as good as like a headset mic. Like I really would not recommend using this at all. All right. And with this webcam, it does add a little bit of light, but it's nothing like crazy noticeable. You actually need like a ring light. Like this is not going to be bright enough at all, but it says it's 1440p. So it should be noticeably good quality or at least somewhat looking good good. Speaking about microphones, here is the headset. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that like, I'm pretty sure like Stable Ronaldo like uses this all the time. It's just like a basic Logitech headset. I'll have the price up on the screen right now. Okay, definitely from the unboxing, this is one of the cheaper like kind of Logitech headsets. It's just kind of wrapped in some like cheap plastic. I used to have a Logitech headset for like quite a while on Xbox. This one doesn't seem too bad. You have your adjustable kind of like headband and you do have a little bit of cushion on the top of the headrest, which is pretty good. I've always seen these Corsair keyboards and this K55 cost me about $50 or something. And I always seen them and I always want to use it. I mean, this is literally just a normal membrane keyboard. That is not a comfortable armrest. It's literally like hard plastic. I mean, it's not a bad looking keyboard. It's just like a membrane gaming keyboard. You know what I mean? I've actually never seen this mouse. It's called like the Basilic X Hyperspeed and it's a wireless mouse from Razer. Feels pretty good. Again, I wouldn't really use a mouse like this because the little extending part right here is like way too big for my preference. It looks more like a chill mouse, not like a gaming mouse. Definitely the worst part that I'm just noticing right now is it's not a charging one. You have to like put a battery in this. So that's just going to add so much weight. I don't know if it was just my Walmart, but they literally had so many things from Razer, like
like mice. But yeah, this mouse pad is actually really, really long. It doesn't feel like insane. It's just like a good size and it's really grippy. Kind of just a normal mouse pad and the glide on it feels like pretty good actually. Earlier in the video, I was talking about the ring light with the webcam and I actually did buy some big ones like this in the past from Walmart. And they just point blank have not been that crazy or that bright at all. So I'm hoping this one's a little bit different because this one's like huge. What does it even say? It's 16 inches. This is definitely the biggest one I've bought from them. Okay, so you have like all your kind of power things and everything in this box. You have your like your on and off switch here. You have the huge tripod and then this is the actual ring light in here. Yeah, if this is just like even semi bright, this is actually going to be really good because this thing is like actually in person, definitely one of the bigger like ring lights I've used. All right, and just for the rest of the setup, of course, oh, that might be broken now. What I meant to say is for the rest of the setup, it's just kind of like RGB. It wouldn't really be a gaming setup without our RGB, of course. But yeah, I just got a simple RGB light strip here. Just comes with a little RGB controller. Okay, and the last thing are just these kind of RGB light bars. It comes in a pair of them and this is how they look. They're not like really that big. Definitely judging how they look and feel, this probably honestly feels like the cheapest thing in the entire setup. I don't think these were that much though. They were like 20 bucks or something. But yeah, let's actually just build the entire setup, put it together, and then I can actually get my real thoughts on it. All right, so this is the setup, but there are actually a couple problems and the ring light was literally just working like five minutes ago when I was setting this up. But look, whenever I press the power button, it like flickers on for like one second and that's it. And like, no matter what I do, it literally is just like broken, it flickers. And then the other thing is this LED light strip, no matter what I do to it, the remote doesn't even work on it like at all. Like I have the remotes right over here and none of them like change the color at all. Like no matter what I'm pressing, literally doesn't change the color at all. Like I have that as like a little test strip. I'm pressing a bunch of things. It literally doesn't change the color. So that's nice. These things are really, really like unstable. So they kind of fall a lot. But the worst part is since it's an Xbox, I actually didn't know that some like webcams and mics not work, might not work. So like over here, if you want to test out a um, camera on Xbox, you can go down here to your camera options, turn on the camera. You can see the little green light goes on. And then if you go here, you're supposed to see a little preview, like right over here, or if I move it to the bottom left, I'm supposed to see a preview of myself, but this webcam just doesn't work. And so with this mic, I have no idea how to get this thing to work. The only thing that wants to work is the actual headset. So yeah, half the setup is kind of just shambles. Oh, and one more thing. I'm not, that's not even it. Maybe this is my fault to be completely honest, but like also this mouse doesn't really work. So it's really similar shape to this one. Just so you guys can see, I'll compare it. They're like as similar as I could like kind of get, like you see that kind of ridge here, little ridge here. So yeah, I try to get as similar as I could. And I think this mouse is also cheaper. It's a Corsair Harpoon mouse and it's completely wired. So it will definitely work. But yeah, that's kind of all the issues with the setup. I also forgot to mention the black Xbox Series S that I'm giving away. I decided to just use this one because I don't want to load an account and like make it not seem like factory out the box. So yeah, basically I'll explain right now how you guys can win one of the Xboxes. All right, so I just released a brand new Fortnite map. The code is up on the screen right now. It's called Crazy OG Box PVP. So it's basically all the loot that's in chapter one right now, but it includes like boogie bombs, grenades, clingers, RPGs, and just all that crazy loot. And yeah, it's basically Crazy OG Box PVP. Okay, and I made it super easy to actually win the giveaway. As you guys can see, it's like a simple box fight map. You have like all the crazy loot, like you have literally boogie bombs and stuff like that. You have P90, AK. But the way you actually win the new Carbon Fiber Xbox Series S is whatever your kind of map key is, you can press M and actually go to your career and see your career eliminations. So on my main account, I have like 200 eliminations on my map, but some people have more. And all you have to do is whoever has the most eliminations on this map, by the end of this month, I will give the Xbox Series S to. And all you have to do is post on any kind of social media, hashtag Vermax Xbox. That's all you got to do. So whoever has the most eliminations on my map and it's the career elimination. So like whoever has the most by the end of the month will literally win the Xbox Series S. So I can send it before uh, Christmas. It will basically be like, you know, a Christmas gift from Vermax, I guess. All right, so about the actual setup, of course, we're like just getting 60 FPS because we don't have a 120 Hertz display. I don't know if that, if Xbox automatically detects that because I used to always be able to like just turn on 120 Hertz, but that's because I had a higher refresh rate monitor. So I'm assuming Xbox just detects I'm not getting 120 FPS and they don't give me that option. But about the actual keyboard, it doesn't feel crazy at all. Definitely is a little bit of input delay, but a lot better than like any old gen console, but just not as good as a PC, but it's definitely not that bad. And also this mouse, I know Walmart definitely sells it. 
the Car Corsair Harpoon mouse. It's like even cheaper than the one I showed earlier and it's actually pretty good. I wasn't expecting anything crazy at all, but the monitor, the colors are like really, really dull, like nothing really popping at all. And it just is like a, the most normal monitor you could get, but it sucks that our webcam, the mic, the ring light, ring light, I don't know why it's not working, bro. That thing just, I guess it's just such a piece of doo-doo that it like broke, but I don't know. But it's not really Walmart's fault for the microphone or the webcam. I guess it's just like not compatible with Xbox, that's it. But of course, since I was trying to build the cheapest setup possible, Walmart like literally has PCs that are like so much more now. They weren't really that cheap unless you order them online, which would have taken a while. But like in store, so if you actually went to Walmart and try to build a setup, this is probably like, your best option to be honest. All right, let's just go in game and actually test how it actually feels in game. To be honest, since this is like a brand new account on Xbox, these lobbies are probably gonna be so bad, bro. See, brand new map. I literally have not landed at all. I'm honestly just gonna hot drop and go salty. I think my sense is way too high. All right, I tried to move the camera a little bit so you guys have a little bit of a better viewing angle, but trust me, it's not good IRL either. Definitely not a bot. Oh, there we go. Oh wait, never mind. That's a bot. That's a bot bot. But again, the Xbox Series S in terms of its price is actually really good. I'm just not used to it. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, this guy's actually not bad. Dang it, bro. Oh wait, we can rift, we can rift. Oh my, this is hard to aim. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, this is a pain to shoot. Oh my gosh, I'm not even, I wish you guys could see. Oh my gosh. I'm like a whole new player on console, bro. 60. Oh my gosh, I'm hitting him from like no damage, bro. Let's go, he's one HP. He's one, how, how, okay, how many times did I have to kill, hit this guy? I feel like I'm definitely getting used to it though. And bro, if only I had a 120 hertz monitor and I could use a 120 FPS, bro, it'd be like completely different, bro. Come on, go for it, go for it, go for it. Get this. Yup, cracked. I know where you are, bro. One HP, there we go. I don't even see this guy, bro. Yo, his skin is so dark, I don't even see him. Yup. Oh, it's a Fortnite AI. Oh my, what the bro just completely flicked on my head. Oh, I'm getting shot from, where am I getting? Oh, there. Bro, I have I had no idea. Okay, there we go, easy kill, bro. The headset itself is actually not like that bad. It just really like amplifies, it sounds like it, there's an echo or something. It like amplifies the sound twice or something. This guy kills me, bro. It's fine, fine, we got this, we got this, we got this. There we go, 20, 20 again. Oh. Edit out. There we go. 90. You're literally 1 HP. Just die, bro. Oh, and my elimination just got stolen. And that's our cue to leave. Oh, um, wh how did that hit me? Dude, that guy is not good. I can actually win this, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. I, oh my gosh, let's go. Again, if you guys want to actually win the brand new Xbox Series S Carbon Fiber, which is like the black edition one I showed you guys, make sure you play the map code and whoever has the most career eliminations and post it on any social media using hashtag Vermax Xbox will literally win the free Xbox for Christmas. But yeah, I'm literally recording this video at 1 a.m. So if you guys did enjoy it, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you guys could just drop a quick sub or even if you are sub, like the video. And YouTube recommends this video right here and I I recommend this video and yeah, that's about it. God bless.